Okay, so let's kind of get into this. I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently than my normal bullet journal videos just because I already filmed <laughs> the whole thing and it was a lot of footage and I feel like breaking it up with the actual like final product is going to make it a little bit more fun. So hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to do my 2020 reading bullet journal setup as well as my first monthly spread for January. A little bit of start off facts. I am now using an Archer and Olive bullet journal notebook. This one is their moth one. It's one of their newer designs. I'm not sure if they have any in stock right now, but I'm sure eventually they will again. I decided to go over to Archer and Olive after last year I had a Dingbats journal and I did really like this, but I didn't love that the pages were pretty yellowish. I wanted a more pure white style notebook, so I went with Archer and Olive. This is really, really nice. It's 160 GSM, which is a very thick, thick paper, and it's just really, really good for everything that I want to use it for, especially if I do want to try out watercolors in my bullet journal again, because the Dingbats one didn't do that well with watercolors. So let's kind of just dive in. Um, so we start with the front page, the This Book Belongs To, and I just wrote my name in cursive, so that was kind of that. Then we have the actual first page, which is my little title page where I just wrote 2020 in some like typewriter style font. I put it in a little paper, like acting like it was clipped in with these little metal things, well, metal things, and then wrote reading bullet journal. Uh, I kept it pretty simple for this page. I did leave the other page blank, so if I wanna go back to it, I definitely can and add more. The next spread is just this uh, line grid spacing kind of spread. Definitely, definitely got this inspiration from Amanda Rachley, who is an incredibly popular bullet journaler here on YouTube. And I don't, I didn't do mine exactly like hers. I kind of went on my own path with it. I just took inspiration from hers. So I do like how it turned out. It is super helpful for making spreads. So I'm already pretty pleased with that. And then I did a little, title page that says she was a daughter of words, a girl with a story to tell, which is a quote from Nevernight, which is a book by Jay Kristoff. Uh, I did kind of forget to outline this because I was supposed to act like this was another little paper in a paper, but that's okay. I'll go back to it later. I do want to mention I did try and keep this spread black and white, at least for the beginning, because last year when I did all of my super fun colors and did a lot of funky things, I ended up really not enjoying how it turned out. I wanted a much more clean, basic spread, so that's definitely what I did. So just going to the next page, we have my bookshelf. I did do a bookshelf last year. Again, it was much more like messy. It was supposed to look more like my bookshelves. This year I just did like some plain black lines for the shelves and very similar looking books. I do have room, I believe, for 130 books in here, but I do still have this whole shelf space at the bottom that I would be able to use if I wanted to. And yeah, I just did a few doodles. I drew in a little mug. I drew in my camera or somewhat like a camera. And then at the bottom, I drew two silhouettes of cats and one of them's supposed to be Luna. The other one's supposed to be T'Challa. I'll let you guys decide which one's which, but I already know who they are, so. Yeah, this one, I do really love how it turned out. Again, I'm not entirely sure yet what colors I'm gonna be coloring in the books. I do think I wanna still keep it by star rating. I It helps me know exactly what I liked and see everything visually within my year, but I'm thinking of keeping it pretty monochromatic 
maybe just doing like very neutral shades, if not black and white and gray. So yeah, that's gonna be that. And I did leave room at the bottom for the key or right here, just in case, <laughs> because um, yeah, that'll be that. So this next spread is really quite simplistic. It's just my reading year and statistics. Last year, I got into the habit of writing a stats page at the end of all of my months and tracking like the number of books I'd read, the pages I'd read, how many were audio and physical and the videos that I'd filmed. And I decided to just make one whole spread for it in the beginning of the year. That way I don't have to add this at the end of my monthly spreads every single year or every single month. So I do like it. I think, again, it's really, really simple, but it is just statistics, so it might as well be simple. I do really enjoy, though, that I blacked out the background. This is kind of when I started realizing that I really wanted to black out more stuff in my notebook and write over it in white. I started with my um, jelly rolls, like Sakura jelly roll gel pens, but this one actually wasn't writing as opaque as my Uniball Signo gel pen. So I ended up using this one for any other black background throughout the process. Now for the next page. I absolutely adore how this one turned out. I was really up in the air about what I wanted to do exactly when I started it. I was pretty sure I wanted to black out the background. I knew that I wanted to make them all look like little Polaroids, but I also knew that I needed a little star just to put the star rating of the book. But this is gonna be my 20 books to read in 2020 spread. Again, I really love how it turned out. I printed out a tester on my Fomimo printer of one of the books that I'm planning to read for 2020. I haven't filled it out yet because there is a video coming out on that and I don't wanna spoil you guys, but I tested it out. That way the little picture of the book can fit inside the Polaroid area and then I can write the title under it. And then in the big star that's attached to each Polaroid, I will be writing the star rating. Something I was thinking about doing this year is actually not doing like half stars or third stars or anything like that. I think I'm just going to be doing full stars and seeing how I feel about that. It's just better for continuity, just like in my um, in my bookshelf spread, it was really hard to keep track of half stars and everything like that. So I think I'm just gonna be rounding up. And I do love, love, love how this one turned out. It was meant to look like stickers, like these stars were meant to look like stickers on like a black paper. I don't know if it exactly looks like that, but I do really, really like it either way. I love this spread. It was really hard to fit 20 little Polaroids in it though. So this next one is another really, really simple one and it's just my most anticipated releases spread. Uh, I might play around with it, I might not, honestly, but I just made sort of like a computer style grid for the middle. and just with like an area for the book title, the release date, if I bought it and if I read it. And this is the spread I'm going to be using for my most anticipated releases video. I'm not sure exactly how many I want to write in it yet, so I just left a lot of space and left it up to myself to decide later on. And that was kind of that. This next one is another one that I haven't filled out quite yet, but it's my reading resolutions spread and then on the opposite page is my Goodreads style goal. I did do that one before I filmed just because I was having so many issues figuring out exactly how many squares to do and how to write them down because I wanted it to spell out 2020, but I just 
<laughs> I got very confused, honestly, but I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And it's just 2020 written out in like little boxes with about 25 numbers in each of the numbers. That way it equals 100 at the very end. And then I just said 100 books to read in dot 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 and it's, it spells out 2020. And then the reading resolutions, this one is another one that I've, again, I've kept it pretty blank and pretty neutral. I just wanted a little banner and then so I can write out some of my goals for my reading year and for my booktube channel because I do kind of plan on making another video on that. So yeah. This next one, I actually adore how it turned out. It was meant to be another really simple spread, kind of like how my most anticipated releases looked. But I was thinking about it and I decided to do more of like, again, that metal border thing that sometimes you can pop papers into. I just think it looks a lot fancier. I uh, colored in the metal parts with my silver gel pen so it looked a little bit more metally. I will say that the books received at the very top, that gray kind of turned a little too dark on me, but it actually worked out. I like how the font looks outlined in white. And this is just my books received spread. That way I can kind of keep track of the books that I'm getting that I'm not personally paying for. So either from subscription boxes that I get sent or other, like if you guys ever send me any books, I wanted to keep track of it. And yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm pretty sure this will be enough space, but we'll see. Now this next spread is actually one that ended up being my absolute favorite. This one was actually supposed to look really, really similar to my statistics spread originally. But when I got down to it, I realized that it was just gonna be so boring and then I was like, oh gosh, what if I make it look like they're on shelves because this is all about getting down my TBR in 2020. I just wanted an area to keep track of my TBR at the start of the year and at the end of the year versus how many books I'm hauling within a month and that kind of stuff. I really just wanted to be able to keep track of it. It's gonna be sort of a focus for me this year. I don't want to be hauling more books than I am reading. So, I mean, hauling unread books. If, I'm, if I've already read the book, then it's totally fine. But hauling unread books more than I am reading books, I just feel like it's wasteful and I want to try and maybe keep track of it and see what it is that I'm doing. And I did just kind of make it look like they were shelves. I made little books on each of the shelves for where the stat is going to go. I put the months in sort of these little boxes that are meant to look like metal signs, sort of. And I just love how it looks. And I love the title that says get down that TBR with like the books silhouetted in the background. I just, I adore how this one turned out. It's probably my favorite of my yearly spreads. And now for the last of the yearly spreads that I have created, I made a little top videos to film this year spread. I do have certain videos that I've just been dying to film and I keep forgetting about them. And I normally write them in my little uh, monthly spreads, but I figured it would be nice to have just like one whole list of them. And I'm still not exactly sure which ones I'm gonna put in here, but I'll definitely be looking into it. And then I like how I did the little title for the videos to film. I made it look like a film roll, or at least I think it looks like a film roll, <laughs> but it turned out pretty nice. And again, I made almost like a little page that was pinned down to a board. 
of sorts. And then I did leave quite a few pages blank because I do feel like there's some spreads that I wanted to create that I'm kind of blanking on. So I left about five pages or 10 technically blank. And now we get into my January spread. So this one I kept pretty similar to my just regular monthly spreads. I haven't done the blank page on the left hand side yet. I do normally do some kind of drawing or quote on there and I just hadn't done it by the time that I filmed this video and I wanted to get this out. But I made it pretty simple. I just kind of wanted it to have like fireworks kind of as a running theme throughout it. I love how I ended up doing like the ombre on some of the lettering where the gold dots start at the top and then fade down into the black. I was gonna make fireworks for the little days red but I realized I didn't know how to draw blank fireworks so I just made stars again with my little key at the bottom. And then I wrote a little just sentence that says New Year, say me, just more. Honestly, I was pretty slop happy by the time I was doing this. And I was like, what are some New Year quotes? And I was like, New Year, new me. And I didn't want to write New Year, new me because it's still the same me. So that's what we got out of that. Yeah. I mean, this monthly spread is really, really simple. To be fair, I, again, was really tired by the time I was filming this and just didn't have any of the motivation to keep going. And then we flip the page and we have my little TBR area. I did make it a shelf because I wanted to draw in the books like I had done in some of my original monthly spreads and I had just kind of gotten rid of. So I'm excited to see how that one's going to turn out. And then I made a little area for my hauled books. Again, I made it a lot smaller. I am trying to keep track of just the books that I'm hauling and things like that. And then I also made a little spread for unhauling just because I did recently do an unhaul video and I still haven't gotten up the Depop page and everything like I said I would. So I just wanted a little place to keep track of all of that. That way I can um, finally get it started and get it running because I know you guys have been asking me about it a ton. So I just wanted a little area to kind of clear my head and then be able to start that little shop up. I did mess up and erase over the metallic gel pens and it left like a really icky kind of look to it. I'm not gonna fix it at this point, honestly, but yeah, I do realize that that happened. And that was pretty dumb. I honestly knew that it was going to happen when I started erasing and I just hoped it wouldn't, so. And then we have my Books Red spread, another one that I made a little bit smaller than usual. I just didn't want to have all the pressure of having to fill out an entire page of Books Red. but I kept all the stats basically the same. Whether I finished it, the book title, the page number, the star rating, whether it was audio or physical, and the dates that I started and finished it. And then at the bottom, again, pretty slab happy, I just wrote down roaring 20s, baby. <laughs> uh. And then on the opposite page, I just have an idea dump area. I replaced like my video, idea and my bookstagram idea area with this whole page of idea dump. That way I can make checklists or write really anything that's related to books and stuff on this area. And then for the next page, we just have my pages read. I love having a pages read, so I just kept it for this spread as well. I will say this one just had so many mistakes happen. Uh, I just did not know the numbering for whatever reason. You'll see me mess up quite a few times on that, but it was pretty funny.
And then just my video tracker spread. I mean, I did change it up a little bit than my normal video tracker area. I wanted just a little bit of a smaller space. I didn't want such a focus on like what the video was called and more of a focus on how many days of the week I'm uploading and what my weeks are actually looking like. So I just kind of kept it like that, wrote down the dates of the week, made sure there was enough for all of the days in the month because normally I'm missing at least a couple and then an area for my subscribers and like the growth that I might be seeing on my channel. And we're on to the last two spreads, which are my bookstagram spread and then just the little favorites area. So I kind of love how my bookstagram spread looks again. I did want it to just be more of a focus on what days and how many days of the week I am posting. So I just wrote down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then at the bottom, that little blank black ball, that's gonna be where my follower count is for Instagram. And then the last one, which is the favorite book area, I'm probably going to draw in another little fake Polaroid. That way I can print out the picture of whatever my favorite book of the month is with my Fomimo printer and then just stick that into the little Polaroid. I think it'll look really, really cute but we'll decide how that's gonna look later. And then I did make a really tiny area for quotes. I just never end up using my entire page of quotes and then it just makes me feel bad. So I tried out something a little bit smaller for this month, that way I could check out to see if I really didn't need as much space as I was giving myself or maybe I will need more space. We'll end up seeing. Yeah, that's it. I hope you like this. I hope you like this kind of format and let me know if you guys have started a reading bullet journal. It's always very, very interesting to me to know if you guys are getting any ideas from me or if you started one because of me or if you've been doing this for forever, let me know what kind of spreads you do. I would love, love, love to know. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope your new year is absolutely amazing and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.